to another YouTube video. So for today's video, I thought that I would do a video on how to stay chic and stylish in winter even when it's cold when you still want to not compromise your classy feminine girly style but you don't want to necessarily be blending in with the crowd, wearing all dark colors, and just letting winter be depressing. Um, and this was a very highly requested video for my channel. I was a little bit hesitant to do it just because I've watched a lot of videos this year on this same topic and so I didn't want it to be repetitive for you guys but if you want to see it I'm here doing it today and I actually have some really great tips that I am very excited to share with you so stay tuned. I am going through 10 tips on how to stay classy and chic in the winter so let's get started. <laughs> So the first tip is, of course, wearing nice coats. And that is because coats are your outer piece in the winter. This is something that you're going to wear probably the most out of all of your winter pieces is your coat. And it's also the first thing that people see when you, they look at you, when you're going to go meet someone somewhere, when you're just going to work, commuting, you're always wearing that outermost layer. And so that's the where you can get really fun. And this is also where I would say that it's really great to invest, to invest in a nice coat for winter. Because again, it is that one piece that you're going to be wearing every single day. So if you're going to spend it on something, spend it on a nice coat. I think that if it's good to narrow it down into two types and I did a lot of thinking pretty much starting in the summer this year on this topic and I ordered multiple coats and sent them back before I finally found my perfect coats for this winter and I basically categorized it into two. I wanted one that was a cream or beige wool coat or wool cashmere blend, mid-length wrap style with a nice collar. And that's like a pretty classic coat, but I finally found one that was in an affordable price and I will overlay on the screen the one that I'm talking about. It is a cream beige wool uh, wool blend coat from H&M. So this is only $60, $70, nothing too pricey, but it does look very classy and chic. It is a nice wrap style. I love the how I can even tie it nicely and I just think that it looks really nice and it makes me feel really good. And I also feel like this is a color palette that goes with the rest of my clothes. So since I do stick to a very like light neutral pink color palette, a coat in like this I know would go with every outfit. So it'll get a lot of um, use or for the price per wear basically. And then to have a fun coat. So for me, that is this beautiful furry uh, pink faux fur coat from Topshop. And I absolutely love it. It makes me feel so happy and like, oh, I'm just like, it's like my dream coat that I wanted. I would have worn a coat like this all of the years, but it wasn't until recently that I finally like was confident enough and accepted my style that I was like, yeah, I could rock this. And also, Fur coats kind of also very much came into style last year, last winter, so that was also exciting. But yes, I also love this coat, and it goes along with so many of my other pieces in my closet as well. So I think just kind of try to refine your style, think about what goes the best with what's in your closet, and then narrow it down. And the point that I'm really trying to make here is that... You don't have to, just because it's winter, think, okay, I need a black puffer coat because black goes with everything and it'll keep me the most warm. No, like there are other things that can also be very warm. Layering up is also really important. And when you wear something really fun, like a pink furry coat, when everyone else around you in the winter is basically a sea of black coats, you'll stand out. People will be like almost like happy. They'll smile at you like, oh, that's so fun. Like It really is totally okay to wear something bright in the winter. It does not mean we have to wear all dark colors and be depressing, basically. <laughs> My 
second point, which is focusing on your extremities. So if you're wearing something that is a jacket that maybe is a little bit lighter, just make sure that your head is covered, your hands are covered, your feet are covered. So for me, I like to, this is an opportunity to wear a really cute winter hat or really cute winter gloves. For me, I love this cream beige one that has like the cute knitted pattern on it with the pom-pom on top. And then also I have two really cute pairs of gloves. They are, you can just kind of find these anywhere. You can pick them up anywhere. I'll leave a few links down below to cute like winter accessories. But yeah, just like I have like a velvet, one of my pairs is like a white or like velvet pair and the other one is like a pink fuzzy pair. So yeah, you can really get fun with it and you'll find that wearing a hat and gloves and warm shoes will really change when you're walking down the street and it's freezing cold and the wind is whipping. Where having those on will really make a huge difference. So, and you can be really cute and chic with it as well. So I would say turn to cute uh, winter accessories. The third point is over the knee boots. So I, as you guys know, love Stuart Weitzman boots. I made a whole video on how to style Stuart Weitzman boots that I will leave linked down below. You can wear them with, obviously with jeans or with pants, but this is, makes it, it, this gives you the opportunity to wear those skirts and those dresses because like you can usually you'd be colder in a skirt or a dress in the winter but if you're wearing over the knee boots that completely covers you and makes you super warm so what I like to do is to pair a like a really cute skirt with a pair of over the knee boots I have two pairs from Stuart Weitzman I have a light gray pair that is a flatter on the bottom like it's a flat that is so cute I always get compliments when I wear them and then the other pair are a black high-heeled pair so I absolutely love both of them and I wear them all throughout the winter there is a third pair that I have my eye on also from Stuart Weitzman I'll leave a picture of it and it is a very pretty nice brown suede pair that also I think would be really cute so yeah just finding over the knee boots will also keep you very warm of looking chic and stylish in winter is monotone and I mean wearing a all from head to toe all the same shade of color so for me oftentimes that will be beige cream maybe even light pinks I just find that this can look so classy and so much more expensive than it actually is too because the the pieces that I am wearing in this overlay are none of them were over a hundred dollars they're all within budget and it just looks so much more expensive than it is in my opinion and if you constantly shop within this color palette and you always keep this in your mind when you're shopping it'll be so easy to pair these items together a lot of what I wear is from H&M and ASOS and Zara just high street stores and it just can really really look nice when you just put it all together in monotone So. tip that I have for you guys is turning to hair accessories. So if you do decide to totally bundle up and wear a big sweater, do something cute so that it's in style. So I like to just pop on a cute hair accessory and I feel more done up and instantly good to go. So for example, I have this like puffed uh, padded headband. This is like a pink velvet padded headband from Etsy that I'll leave linked down below. This is like the padded headbands have been such a trend this year and I am so happy about it because I love hair accessories so something like this is really cute or say like a pearl headband this is from Zara I wear this all the time too both of these things go with pretty much every outfit that I wear for the most part so things like that this is like a cute red one with a little knot on the top if like this is also a huge trend I love this one especially I always wear this around like Thanksgiving Christmas that sort of thing 
I love the velvet trend in the winter and the fall. I have a pink velvet scrunchie. This is really cute. I'll do like a bun on the top of my head and then just put the scrunchie over it and I feel like a ballerina. Like, I, I don't know. It just like puts the cherry on top of the look, I feel. Or always, of course, hair clips. So hair clips are not just for the spring and the summer. They are also for the fall and the winter. So here I have a pearl hair clip that I love any hair clip really. I have a gazillion different variations of hair clips so I feel like you guys get the picture. <laughs> splitting your mind between your indoor versus your outdoor shoes. So say it's snowing, it's a super like rainy, snowy, blizzardy day outside. We would think, oh, let me bundle up in my ugliest boots ever and go outside, which is good, which is what I'm saying that you should do. Don't ruin your nice shoes. However, you should like keep in your bag your pair of nice shoes that you wear once you get inside. So say for me, most of the time that's the commute. So say if I'm going to work, I need to go outside in the slush on my way to the subway, I'll wear like boots or sneakers or just shoes that are going to keep me warm and comfortable on the way. And then when I get to work, I put on my nice shoes. Or say if I'm going to go visit someone or even if I'm going out to like you know, a restaurant or something, like bundle yourself up, stay warm, <laughs> but also just know that you can pair, you can change your shoes. There is nothing wrong with changing your shoes on the street, right before, like right around the block, just like hidden around the corner, changing your shoes on the street. I do this all the time. I don't care. I don't care if people look at me. This is a New York thing. <laughs> there are much crazier things that people see on the street than a girl changing her shoes. So there is nothing wrong with with that. <laughs> if you can, investing in Ubers or Lyfts or ride-sharing services, taxis, if you are wearing something nice and you don't want to ruin it. Um, for example, I know I mentioned Stuart Weitzman boots. Those are suede. As soon as you get those wet, they'll never be the same. So in some cases, it is just like investing in Ubers. It will make you much happier. <laughs> This is a hard one because I know, like for me, I, I take Ubers probably the least out of everyone I know. I always take the subway because I feel like it is the easiest way to save money. But, you know, in the case that you are going to somewhere nice or a nice dinner or something, just take an Uber, save yourself the hassle, and that way you can still stay looking good and not worrying about ruining any pieces of your outfit. <laughs> The next tip, and I feel like this is one of the most important tips, is thermals. And by thermals, I mean some companies like Uniqlo and others will make these almost like thermal pieces. They have like a top, maybe pants that you can wear under your clothes. So I, for example, will put on a thermal under a big sweater. So if I'm buying a nice big sweater like this, for example, I could fit a thermal underneath and then I'm super warm. Or even if you're wearing a skirt and then boots, where enough where there isn't a gap between like where your legs aren't showing. So say if you're wearing a midi length skirt and over the knee boots underneath, you could totally wear thermal leggings underneath and no one would ever know. And you're so super warm. So the point is, is just that like, just because it's winter, I think so many of us have this mindset that like, oh, okay, now I need to wear jeans or now I need to wear pants and that's just it because that's going to be the warmest. But it really isn't. I found actually that when I wear like thermal leggings with my over the knee boots on top and then a mini skirt over that, I've been warmer than when I've worn jeans. <laughs> so. It's just, if you're trying to stay stylish and chic, you don't want to compromise your love of skirts and dresses, that's just a, like a little hack that you can do to stay warm and, and not freeze your butt off in the winter. <laughs> Alright, so just to quickly show you what I mean, 
This is a thermal layer. This is from Uniqlo. It's just a long sleeve and it's a little fuzzy on the inside. Whatever technology is in them, somehow this keeps you warm. Even though it looks like a thin shirt, it's actually decently thick and it has some like thermal technology inside that makes you warm. So I would wear this under a bulky sweater, such as this one from H&M. So I would literally just put this on over the thermal. And this is going to keep me so warm. And then there we go. Honestly, this looks exactly the same as when I wear this sweater without a thermal. So you would never know. And here you are inside wearing this cozy underlayer and nobody knows. And you still look chic. Mm -hmm. sweater dresses and this I feel like is a no-brainer if you are looking for ways to look cute and not wear jeans or not wear pants you still want to wear a dress but you want to be cozy sweater dress <laughs> it just makes sense so I have this cute one from Vero Moda it has this cute little ruffle like turtleneck at the top and then it's long sleeve what I love about it is it has the puff sleeve so that like cute puff sleeve trend and then yeah it's just a really cute dress and I feel like this could be paired with a pair of over the knee boots again as always you can wear this with cute tights you could belt it you could wear a cute accessory with it you could put your hair up in it you could wear a thermal under it <laughs> and yeah it's just super cute I feel like this can be something a sweater dress is cute in so many situations you can dress it up or down so yay sweater dresses and then it comes to fun tights and I am not a huge fan of the black tights or the black tights look. I especially don't like necessarily when people wear black tights with black heels. It's just, it's not my favorite. However, if the tights are fun, then I would say that we can get away with that. So for example, what I mean is shimmery tights, like glitter tights. I have these really fun glitter tights from, or shimmery tights from J. Crew that can just be worn with like a, like a sweater dress or a velvet dress. It'd be really cute, especially for, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas or any holidays, or also be polka dot tight. This can also be really, really cute and girly and chic. I love just like the sheer black tights with the little tiny polka dots. I just think that that is also really cute and it can really elevate any outfit. It's very stylish looking and it just kind of adds that nice extra touch. The polka dot ones, these are just so easy to wear. I will link these down below. Yeah, again, it just looks really chic and cute and adorable. tip is just sort of a mindset shift and this is something that I really had to consciously do because where I grew up in New Hampshire I, it's basically in the mountains and everyone up there dresses for practicality because everything up there is about nature, skiing, hiking, snowboarding, fishing, like the things that I do not love. <laughs> so needless to say like Patagonia and the North Face like hiking booths that like everyone up there kind of wears that sort of thing and they dress for practicality whereas in a city you have more of an opportunity to like like if you wear heels to dinner no one will look at you twice things like that <laughs> and so you can wear like bright fun you know a pink fuzzy jacket or you know like a I don't know, any fun things that you have. And so keeping in mind all of these tips that we just went over, like wearing thermals underneath, wearing a chic coat, wearing over the knee boots, sweater dresses, hair accessories, winter accessories, there are so many ways that you can still stay warm and not compromise your style in the winter. So, oh, yeah, 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I really enjoyed making it and I think that it is such a great topic and something that so many people are kind of trying to understand and get inspiration and ideas for for the winter. So, And I hope that I didn't offend anybody either. If you wear a black puffer coat, you know, power to you. That will not get ruined and you will be warm. This is just for if you have a fun girly style and you don't want to compromise it in the winter. But thank you guys again so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave it a comment, a like, subscribe. And also I have an Instagram account called The Fashion Squirrel and I post daily outfit inspiration on there as well. So I hope that you guys check that out and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Alright.